Okay, 大家好。Okay, so this week we're going to talk about <coughs> a concept、uh, or a, a, a shinfa that is、uh, really important in our lineage. It's called 腱肉分枪 Okay, 腱肉分枪 is typically you hear that regarding、uh, spear fighting, a、uh, spear technique. But <coughs> because we practice baji chuan, baji chuan is very relevant when it comes to spear. Uh, sometimes you hear that in Xing Yi Chuan as well. So, 腱肉分枪 in direct translation, a literal translation, it means when meeting or when seeing the flesh or the meat,、um, then you split the spear. Okay, even with a direct translation, being a Chinese,、um, learning martial art, you know, it took me a while to understand this terminology. What do you mean by? When meeting the flesh, that's when you split the、uh, the spear. <clears throat>、um, so if I take a step back, right? So in the modern world, most people would be too much,、uh, too deeply influenced by modern combat systems such as boxing and and、uh, Muay Thai or MMA. So when they think striking, this is a a proper way of striking or or karate. This you have to use these four knuckles. You know, there, there's just certain recognition to what is a strike, right? A fist. This is a strike. What about a slap, right? So, so there or palm strike. You know, there there's certain very like, you know, cut and dry、uh, recognition of what is a what is a striking, and not just striking, also defending. All right, what is defend? Uh, defending it means like you have hands up, guarding your jaws, guarding your head, or guarding your rib cage or body, right? So there's there's a guarding、uh, concept of it. And last week we talked about the the traditional Chinese martial art. You know the the ready stance is very different from you know modern combat system. The concept of traditional Chinese martial art is that front hand, as we mentioned last week. It, and it evolved from weapon fighting, and having that front hand in front, that is a contact hand. So if you look at any style, any、uh, Eastern style, even even、uh, Far Eastern style, like、uh, such as in Japanese uh, martial art, uh, if you root it back to you know say some of the more traditional J- Japanese martial art, there's always a contact hand, right? So that contact hand. Is part of the movement. There's so many different movements. There's a kata. There's there's forms, you know. So, but when you have that contact hand, when you make that contact, that is the beginning of a application. Okay, an application doesn't necessarily be okay. I have to strike or when I attack, that is an application. Many and oftentimes that that establishing contact hand, tanza, or scouting hand, all those are setting up. For the rest of the movement, right? So when we talk about empty hand and weapon fighting, right? So a lot of the styles were evolved or influenced by weapons, and weapons came from battlefield, right? So I mean, you can say weapons that that being used on the streets, but you don't use that every day on the battlefield. That is your career. And it has to be、uh, precise. It has to be great. It has to be good, right? Or else the consequences is big.、Um, so when we come to the weapon, right? So when we talk about spear. 腱肉分枪 means when two people are using spear fighting with each other. When someone thrusts at me, I block, right? Of course, I block. If I don't block, it's gonna it's gonna hurt me. So, what is the when is the best timing of blocking? And we all know that spear is all about circle, right? Spear does not do blocks. Okay, does not just do like you know just intercepting blocks. Spears is all about circular motion. That why circle? Because in circle you can defend and offend at、uh, offense at at the same time, right? You save a lot of time, and that split second time that you save、uh, can be critical. So, 腱肉分枪 means when do you decide to make contact or or defend、uh, an attack? 腱肉 means right before the opponent's spear is about to touch your flesh, 
All right, that's what they mean by meat or see the flesh. 见肉分享 means you gotta wait. The best timing is when your opponent's weapon almost touches you. That's when you start making that contact.、Uh, then followed by a circle. Then, then、uh, counter the attack.、Um, why? Because when an opponent's weapon is almost touching you or or thrust into you.、Um, That is the most vulnerable vulnerable point because all his strength and all his、uh, maneuvers is at an end of an execution. So, in that case, and also that means his body mechanic is at the end, and he needs to recoup. All right. So if you thrust, and when you need to recoup and thrust again, that gap in the middle that is the vulnerable point. So that is the best timing to do that circular control and then deliver a counter strike. So that's why that's where general fencing comes in. So general fencing can apply to empty hand, right? So which means when you are、uh, facing an opponent with empty hand, when someone strike, you don't want to intercept it right in the beginning, or you want to you want to intercept it at around eighty percent. So as I always, I have a video out、uh, on YouTube that talks about the the eighty percent. Uh, contact point, which is borrow from the general fencing concept, right? Which means, at, when someone has to deliver a strike, this is zero, this is a hundred. A hundred means it will hit you. From at about eighty percent, that's when you should establish the contact, because at this point you have about twenty percent to lead to redirect, and that is a very vulnerable point, you know, from a, from a striking standpoint. And almost all of the Chinese martial art movement, <clears throat> a lot of times you hear, "If so and so punch you, this is what I do," but then there's there's no timing being mentioned, right? So so which a lot of time it, it sounds very、uh, naive, but then once you add in this concept of eighty percent contact or general fen chang contact、uh, co- concept, everything makes sense. All the movements that you learn from a form. Uh, can be established, can work, right? So, in a, in in other words, you know, we all need to train ourselves to when we spar, when you feed、uh, movements with your partner, try to establish a contact or parry or or redirect or block, even just block, right? So try to intercept at eighty percent, right? Catch that moment, and because at that moment, once you make contact and you try to stick to it. You know, just like the spear trying to make circular、uh, control, and in, in empty hand we call stick. And when you stick to it, you can maneuver or affect the the opponent's、uh, body structure, and then it will make your counter attack、uh, that that are following up、uh, much much more、uh, effective. And、uh, yeah, so that's that. And then、uh, usually follow up by general fencing. There's another term that follows it right right after it. So general fencing usually is a defensive、uh, term, and the offensive term in spear is called 铁杆深入 Okay, so we'll talk about that、uh, next time. All right.